Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. And today we're going to talk about a very important topic, making sure that you get paid for, for the work that you do. Now, generally, I think there's really only two kinds of people, the people who are going to pay you for the job and they hire you knowing you're going to pay, they're going to pay you. Uh, and then people who never have any intention of paying you whatsoever. They just want you to, maybe it's a one-time service. That's pretty common. They get you to do a one-time service and then you never hear from them again. The important thing is to either weed out that these people who are, have never have any intention of paying you or to make it difficult for them to avoid it by leaving a paper trail, by having them have agreed to things, you know, paper documents that if you do decide to take something to court that you'll be able to document. And it's not just them saying face to face, yeah, I told, and then it's, you know, one person's word against another. Now the way that I found that's the easiest to do that is one of the features that's in Yardbook. And we're going to take a look at how to do that on the computer. But basically the process is through approving estimates. So there's a system where you can actually send an estimate and the client can then approve it right from their desktop and then that leaves an electronic paper trail that yes, this person did approve this estimate in fact, and it's not just a verbal contract. So we're gonna take a look at how to do that. The first thing you wanna do is open up Chrome, excuse me, whatever web browser you use, and then we're gonna go over to Yardbook. Now, once you're logged into Yardbook, we want to go to Invoices. We're gonna click this drop down arrow, and we're going to update our settings. We're gonna scroll down until we get to estimate approval method. Now I think by default there's not going to be one selected at all so you'll either have to choose enable online approval or enable online approval with signature. We'll take a look at what both of these look like for someone getting an estimate on the desktop and mobile. First we'll do enable online approval, click that and then go ahead and click save. Now when you send out an estimate to someone they will get a notification email. They'll click on the orange button to pull it up and as you can see here, there's this big, nice, bright button that says Approve. So when they click on that, they'll actually type in their name, their email address, and then click OK. And that will approve that estimate that you sent over. Again, you know, if somebody's dead set on not paying you, this may not prevent it. But if somebody sees that you're going to be getting some written contracts, some signed contracts, they may decide to try and, and find some other lawn care company to, uh, to bilk out of some, some free labor, right? So uh, once they click approve, what's really nice is that you will get a notification email as the lawn care provider that says, hey, Brad, just approve this estimate. And after that estimate is approved, you can see that online, even the signature that they left if you have it set up to take a signature. The other thing is that the customer immediately gets an email that says, hey, you approved this estimate. It's another nice feature where somebody can't come back and say, oh, I didn't know what I was, I approved that by accident. Well, if that's true, you got an email notifying you that you approved this. You should have contacted me immediately before I did the work to say, hey, I accidentally approved this. I accidentally typed in my name. I accidentally typed in my email. I accidentally hit approve. I don't want to make a picture like everybody out there is like this. This is the extreme minority, but these kind of things are here to protect you, and it's important that you take full advantage of them. If you have decided to set that up for a signature, the only difference is there'll be another box with a signature. And on the desktop, folks are going to use their mouse to click and draw. They can clear out if they mess up and do a little signature that way. If you're doing this via mobile, it doesn't look too much different. This is what your customer will see when they visit the estimate from their phone. Again, the name, the email address, approve. And this is actually uh, where it's a little bit easier to do the signatures on, on a mobile device because then you're just able to use your finger and, and sign naturally. So that's what it looks like on the mobile device as well. And again, whether it's done desktop or mobile, you get confirmation emails after it's been sent and confirmed, uh, and then the customer gets confirmation emails as soon as, as they've confirmed. So hopefully that video taught you a little bit something. If you didn't know about that feature, now you do. Now you can protect yourself a little bit more. It's kind of sad that we have to worry about this kind of stuff as business owners as lawn care providers or as any kind of contractor really, but uh, that's just the way things are, right? So 
If you've got any questions, like always, leave them down below in the comments. I respond to comments almost daily, no matter how old a video is. If you'd like to see some more videos on Yardbook, here's some that YouTube thinks that you might like. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss notifications when I do put out new videos, otherwise YouTube won't let you know. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.